May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Please stand. Thank you, choir. Good morning. Good to see you all this morning and a very happy Easter to you all. It's lovely to have you join with me here this morning and especially to any visitors who are joined with us today. It's great to have you here and I do hope you enjoy worshipping with us this morning. And also to those who will be watching later on on our online worship again, it's good to have you join with me. So come and see... Jesus is not here. The tomb is empty. Come and see Jesus is risen. Come all who are weary and sad. Let us celebrate for Christ is here. He is risen. Hallelujah. Come and see Jesus is here. So let us this morning worship the risen Christ by singing and opening him. See what a morning and the words will be up on the screen.
Well done, everyone. That was a new one. Um, and I, I, I was glad to hear that you got to the end of it this morning, so well done. We'll sing it next year again, so don't worry. Don't worry. Let's, let's pray together. Living God, this is the day we come together in joy and in praise. The sorrow of these last days have passed. Jesus is risen. He is with us today and forever. Our joy is inexpressible and our thanks are too much for words. On this day we come together remembering and rejoicing that though our Saviour was crucified, died and was buried, he rose again, bringing joy to the sadness, hope to the despair and praise to the discouraged. Help us to carry this wonder with us always and never forget what you have done for us. On this day we come together with prayer in our hearts and joyful songs on our lips. Jesus' promise is fulfilled. So help us to take strength from the truth of the resurrection. Help us to remember that though we each travel through our own times of trial, though the darkness may surround us, your light will always shine. On this day we come together. Rejoicing in the gift of life, sure in the truth of your presence within us. So help us to remember that our lives are to be lived in Jesus' footsteps, striving to love and to care for all whom we meet. Give us the boldness to step forward in faith and hope, shouting with joy. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. Good morning. Good to see you all this morning. Put your hands up if you've had a good Easter week so far. Fantastic. Anything exciting happen? Right, tell me. Shout it out. What did you do during the Easter holidays? You went out in your swimming pool? Wow. Was it a bit was it a bit cold? Was it? Yeah, yeah. Did Dad go out with you? No. Ryan, what did you do Easter during Easter holidays so far? Where, where did you go on your day trip? Edinburgh. Did you do anything exciting in Edinburgh? It's always too busy there. You went to the oh, you went to see Charlie in a chocolate factory at the theatre. Was it good? Your dad said there wasn't enough chocolate. Lucy. Yeah, did you just go as well? Oh, there's lots of chocolate. There is lots of chocolate. Lucy, where did you go? Aviemore. And what kind of things did you do at Aviemore? Quad biking. Oh, fantastic. Right. And what else did you do? The farm park. Was that good? Yeah. Oh, landmark. Sorry, I thought you said the farm park. I was like, oh, that's supposed to be really good landmark. I've not been. I must try and go. Anyway, anyone else? Sam, where are you? Is he hiding? That's fine, that's okay. Oh, right. Caitlin, tell me. You were on Easter holidays? Yeah, and what did you... Oh, what sis you've got with you? Your Easter bonnet. Can you stand up and let everybody see your Easter bonnet? Right, you stand up. Oh, that is beautiful. Well done. I think I think next year we should all wear Easter bonnets. There you are. No, like, oh, no, 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 no. Right, tell me, what did you do during the Easter holidays so far? I went on holiday. Where did you go? Uh, I went to Skidness. Oh, Skidness, fantastic. Was it busy? Was it nice and warm? Good stuff. Oh, right, here we go, up the very back. Right, tell me. Belfast? Oh no, but Christine, is that where you're from? Yeah, our organist is from Belfast. So, so what did you do? Was that really good, the Titanic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christine, there you've got a friend. There you are, all the way. <laughs> I think some folk have been to see the Titanic. I just know it sank. There you are, hit an iceberg. Anyone else? Right, put your hands up if you had Easter eggs this morning. Have you ate them all? No, no. 
Anyway, if I was to ask you, when we think about Easter, there's two two pieces of food that relate to Easter. Any ideas what the first one would be? Ryan? No, that's the second one. <laughs> See, that's a trick question, right? What do you think? No, not chocolate? No. Nope. Hot cross buns. Put your hands up if you like hot cross buns. Oh, <laughs> now, I've got, I, I must confess, I don't really like hot cross buns. And this is a salted caramel. Oh, there's another three in my vestry, open to any offers. Right, so why, why do we eat hot cross buns at Easter time? Any ideas? Ryan? It is, because if you turn it that way, you have a cross. Why do we have a cross at Easter? Ryan? That's right, on Good Friday. Jesus was crucified on Good Friday. So we have the hot crust bun to remind us about Jesus' crucifixion. Christine, I've just left that on your piano. (laughs) Sorry. And then we have Easter eggs. Why do we have Easter eggs? Not just because they're good to eat. I'm going to pick somebody else, Ryan. Right, tell me, why do we have Easter eggs? Can you remember? Any ideas? Right, tell me, Thea. That's right. The shape of the egg represents the stone that was covering Jesus' tomb. And it was the tomb given by um, Joseph of Arimathea. And he was a secret, he was a silent follower of uh, Jesus now what happens what happened to the stone can you remember anybody tell me Ryan it got rolled away didn't it now one of the things that you have to do today is when you go home you have to boil an egg okay and you decorate it and then you roll it down a hill okay to represent the stone going away now some eggs when you break into them have nothing in it because it reminds you of what, what why would you have an empty egg why, why do you think why there's there nothing inside the egg Lucy I'm going to ask you just for a wee moment that's right because Jesus wasn't here but unfortunately this egg has many eggs so and that's usually the surprise isn't it when you when, the, when you open your egg sometimes you have an empty egg and that's to remind you that um, Jesus was not there that he'd risen again and other eggs you have wee goodies as an extra wee surprise so there you are but I want you to think about this this morning because ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we have a premiere a premiere of the Easter story okay it's a one off and I'm hoping that they'll do the Christmas story yeah yeah I'm just putting that in just now okay and our Sunday school decided over the last couple of weeks that they wanted to share their version of the Easter story using, what was it we used? Lego. Well done. So who was part of, who helped to do the Easter story? Right, can you just stand up just for a wee moment? If you need to stand on the pew so everybody can see who you are, that would be super. So from primary one all the way up to primary seven, narrated the story, they filmed the story, they edited the story, they did the backgrounds, and they spoke. And they're telling us the Easter story. So John, drum roll folks. Let's have the premiere. You can sit back down again. Easter story by the Sunday School. The Jewish leaders were not happy that Jesus was so popular. Some of the people were even claiming that Jesus was not the Son of God. That made the Jewish leaders mad. They had to find a way to get rid of Jesus. In the city of Jerusalem, everyone was talking about the amazing things Jesus had done. Jesus was a great teacher. He healed the sick and even raised 
seized the dead. When Jesus entered the city of Jerusalem, he asked his disciples to fetch him a donkey. Everyone was lined up in the street and waved his hands in celebration and shouted, Hosanna to the king. Jesus celebrated the Jewish feast of Passover with his uh, disciples. Jesus took bread and wine and explained that his body would be broken like the bread and his blood like the wine. The disciples really understand what he meant. If someone is trying to hurt you, Jesus, they will have to get through us first. We are prepared to do it for you. Jesus replied, When trouble comes, all of you will leave me. Peter said, No way. Even if all the others leave you, I will never leave you. Jesus said, Peter, before the morning, before you will deny that you even know me three times. Peter was troubled by Jesus' words. Meanwhile, Judas was already making plans to betray Jesus. Judas went to the readers. Judas asked them, How much would you me if I read you where Jesus is? The Jewish readers agreed to pay. Um, 30 pieces of silver to him help them catch Jesus. Night Jesus was praying in a garden later called Gethsemane as he prayed Jesus approached along with the Jewish leaders and some Roman soldiers. Jesus greeting Jesus with a kiss. This was the signal Jesus had agreed with the guards to show them it was Jesus. You're coming with us. The chief priest wants a word with you. It was a hard night for the disciples. Jesus was questioned by the authorities. Peter was outside in the courtyard to keep him warm by the fire. A man recognized him. I know you, he said. You're one of Jesus' followers. You're mistaken. I don't know Jesus. I think you have confused me with someone else. This happened twice more, Peter said loudly. I tell you, I don't know Jesus. Just as a cockerel crowed. Peter remembered Jesus' Jesus's words from the night before. Roman governed Pontius Pilate tried to release Jesus, but Jewish leaders had stirred up hatred for Jesus, and the crowds cried for his execution and shouted for crucifixion. Jesus was hung on a cross on a hill called Golgotha, alongside two criminals, one on his left and the other on his right. One said, "If you are the Son of God, save yourself," and and is. The other said, don't, fe don't you fear God. We are here because we deserve to be, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me today when you enter your kingdom. Jesus said to him, today you will be with me in my paradise. As Jesus died, the sky grew dark for three hours. The ground shook and the curtain in the temple ripped from top to bottom. The Roman soldier who watched him die said, Surely this was the Son of God. Some of Jesus' friends took his body and placed it in, it in a tomb. A large stone was rolled across the entrance and the tomb was was. 
German soldiers guarded the tomb. Three days later, the women went down to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body. But when they got to the tomb, they were surprised to find that the stone had been rolled away and the tomb was empty. They went inside and two angels said to them, Why are you looking for Jesus here? This place, this is a place for dead people, but Jesus is alive. The women couldn't believe it. It could be really true. As the woman raced back to tell the other disciples, they were in the garden with Jesus. It was really true. Jesus has risen from the dead. This was the day to celebrate. Jesus is alive. Well done. This is the first time you've seen this up on the screen, haven't you? So who are, who are the people who were involved in the, the Easter story? Do you want to come out just a wee moment? Okay, I know some of you are missing because there's some on, East, in, on holidays. So come up here just for a wee moment. Okay. Right, up you come. Up you come. Right, so can we give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Well done. There we are. Okay, you can eat them just now if you're allowed to. All right. Okay, well done. And we look forward to the Christmas story. Okay, because... Yeah, no, oh, well, you, you'll just have to wait and see what you get at Christmas time then. All right. Well done. Do you know, I, I had, the Church of Scotland did a, a video on uh, the Easter story using Lego. Can I just say, yours was much better. Much better. So well done, and thank you to the Sunday School for, for leading us and, and hearing the story from their eyes, and, and well done. We're going to sing again this time. We're going to sing hymn number 410, Jesus Christ is Risen Today.
Our reading this morning is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, reading from verse 1 to verse 10. The Resurrection After the Sabbath, a Sunday morning was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Suddenly there was a violent earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled the stone away and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid that they trembled and became like dead men. The angel spoke to the woman. You must not be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised just as he said. Come here and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly now and tell his disciples he has been raised from death and now he is going to Galilee ahead of you. There you will see him. Remember what I have told you. So they left the tomb in a hurry, afraid and yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Peace be with you. They came up to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Do not be afraid, Jesus said to them. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Maima. I'm going to invite the choir now to sing their anthem. and I'll give Christine time to rush back because we're going to sing again this time we're going to sing hymn number 425 the saviour died but rose again
Before we tell the Easter story, I want to ask my glamorous assistants, Louise and Gillian, to come out because they're going to help me tell the Easter story in a unique and delicious way. So hello everyone and happy Easter. Now I know every day feels the same right now, but not this one. This is literally the greatest day in history, so we have to celebrate. And we celebrate in the manse by having lots of chocolate in the house. And I hope you haven't eaten all your Easter eggs and chocolate just yet, but there is one left in the house, and Eddie has promised to save it for me till we get home. So I want to share the Easter story with you, and many of you will have received a piece of card with hopefully a word written on it. So I need you all to listen very carefully because when I say that word, I need you to bring it out to Louise and Gillian and they will swap it for a surprise. So are we ready? Are we ready? Thank you. So let me begin. A Maltista story. It's going to get worse. As you know, that Easter has been this week's news and you already know the story because you are a bunch of smarties. <laughs> but I think we'll recap before we eat our way through all of our chocolate. Out you come. Right, there's Grandpa, I'll bring you out. Well done. Jesus, the Son of God, the one who made the galaxy and the Milky Way, and the planets, and the magic stars, all kinds of amazing creations came down to live just like us. So that was a galaxy, Milky Way, and magic stars. You know the Christmas story when he was born in a stable in Bethlehem. It's going to give us. It says in the Bible that though he was divine, he was also fully human. Who's got divine chocolate? Oh, Mr. Tunnock. <laughs> like you and me, although he might have had curly wordly hair, unlike you and me, he lived a perfect life with no mistakes. Who's got, oh, you got a curly wordly hair, Alison? Yep, yep. There we are. Good. But it was no picnic for him, let me tell you, Ruby. Ruby, up the back of one of you can just there a picnic. Now, all this talk of chocolate is so tempting, I shouldn't, but I might just have another bit of my Easter egg. <laughs> okay, Gillian, would you like a bit? Are you sure? Oh, come oh, on, we need to share. We need to share, because this is fabulous. Please come and get a bit of chocolate. Of course you can't get... No, you can't take my egg. That's all right. That's all right. You can have a bit since you're working so hard. So hard. Oh, my goodness. Where am I? Oh, yes, yes. And oh, I'll move that over there. I know I'm a bit of a flake, but I needed a boost. It's so delicious. I've got the munchies. It's getting worse, honestly, honestly. So we've got a flake, a boost, and a munchies. Who's got the munchies? I've got them. I've all. You got. You've got always the munchies. There we are. All right. Here you come then, Molly. Yep. There you are. Now make sure she gets that. Jesus was tempted, you know, when he spent time out in the wilderness. Forty days and forty nights, all in his Toblerone. <laughs> he was so hungry, but he was strong and didn't give in, even when things got rocky. And that's why we have lint, I mean lint. 
<laughs> Are you come. Right. Swap it over. You just need to ask your parents, the, the grown-ups, if you're allowed to eat it just now. Who's got, who's got what? You get the link. Oh. All sorts of people doesn't really like Jesus. And that's the same today. Some people think that if you believe in God, you're a bit of a threatened nut. <laughs> Billy, I'm not insinuating you're a threatened nut, honestly. <laughs> They might whisper about you, but that's okay. Come again. <laughs> Back then, who's got who's got who's got the whisper? Here you come. Right, Ollie, here you come. You make sure you eat all these. Back then, when Jesus said he was the Son of God, people thought he was lying. Oh, come on, people, work with me here. How dare they milk, they thought. And because of that, he had a huge bounty on his head. Who's got the bounty? That's my favourite as well. Oof, you better be fast. Here you come. <gasps> Where have you got? Oh, right. And we've heard how Judas, that jelly snake, Betrayed him for 30 coins. <laughs> the jelly snakes are there. There we are. Judas watched the soldiers beat Jesus with a club. <laughs> then they thought it would be funny to twirl together a crown of thorns on his head. <laughs> they nailed him on a cross to the sound of Snickers and jokes. Snickers, get it? Boom, boom. Oh my goodness, we will work with me here. They stuck an arrow in, in his side and sometime after eight he died. They then took him away to lay him in a tomb. We know what happens next. The most incredible thing. In three days, he came back to life. Angels came to roll away the stone. And Jesus was back like the most super of superheroes. See? <laughs> Jesus roses from the dead. And let the celebrations begin. Jesus died for everyone, old and young, rich and poor, and if they were living on buttons and didn't have a dime, it doesn't matter. Somebody's got the dime. Who's got the dime? Oh, there we are. You may ask why. Well, even though he went through all that, when it comes to the crunch, we still fudge it much to his sadness. We walked away from Jesus. All the nasty twicks we play on each other. All the bad things we do and think and say mars our friendship with God. <sighs> Jesus died so that friendships would be mended, so that we can revel in his goodness. We see, well, he sees us as his friend and just like him we can have new life Jesus' death and rising again is your key to a life with God and that's why we have Easter eggs they symbolize the new life that Jesus gives to all who believe in him so that Easter morning changed the world forever and caused a ripple throughout eternity Somebody's missed out a fudge. No, I missed not the clean a fudge. It was red out. out. The tomb was empty to everyone's amazement, just like our egg. And there never has been a kinder surprise for all of us. The end. Who's got the kinder surprise? Well done. <laughs> not to pick up the roses. 
who's not got, has not got a Rosie's cat? Have you, have you lost your cards? Mm, mm. Caitlin, come and take this to Gran for me. Who's, who got the jelly snakes? Have you missed it? Oh, well, I'm having it. Right, you take the roses over to Gran. Okay? There you are. Well done. Thank you so much. Well done, everyone. Now, what we're going to do is, if we've not got enough chocolate this morning, we're going to have an Easter egg hunt for all our young people during our next hymn, which is... I danced in the morning, so what I'm going to do during this is I'm going to ask all the, the pram and praise and the nursery people to go out first to look for their eggs, and then I'll shout out who's out next, okay? So let's sing, we'll stand to sing, I danced in the morning, and I want the pram and praise and our under fives to go and start hunting for an egg. Once you've got an egg, you take it back to your seat. Let's go, Christine. and girls, if you want to eat your chocolate, you just need to ask your parents or, or ask me and I say yes, you can have them, you can have them. I'm going to, we're going to make an offering now and as the offering has been uh, uplifted, the choir are going to lead us in a song uh, or a hymn, is it a hymn you're singing? It's a song, okay. And then once they've finished, we'll sing praise God from whom all blessings flow and we remain seated. So let's make an offering. Yeah, of course you can. Sorry.
Thank you, choir. Let's pray together. Accept, O Lord, these gifts of ourselves and our offerings as together we affirm our commitment to be your faithful disciples. Strengthen us as we seek to be gifted stewards of this world. We pray in the name of our resurrected Lord and Saviour. Amen. And we have these intimations. A tea, coffee and cake and I'm told Easter eggs will be served in a large hall at the close of this service and all are welcome. I'm told there's a lot of cake so please come through and join us. Many thanks to those of you who brought in your jars of change today. If you forgot, then next Sunday will be fine. If anyone can help count the cash in the small hall after the service, please see David Lang. We will be leading worship at Bothwell Castle Care Home on Tuesday the 11th of April at 2pm. The wedding of Mark Baxter and Nicola McMahon will take place here on Saturday the 15th of April at 1pm. The Monday Club will not meet tomorrow but will resume on the 17th of April. The Community Cafe, however, will resume on Friday the 14th of April. And these are all the intimations. Thank you, Jim. Before we bring our service to a close, can I thank you for being here this morning? I do hope you've enjoyed our Easter service. It is quite chaotic and understandable. But thank you for participating and having fun with us this morning. And especially to our young people, I do hope you have a great Easter and enjoy the rest of your holidays. And if you really struggle eating your Easter eggs, I'm always available, as you all know. Um, but I do hope you have a great time um, and we look forward to seeing you maybe back next Sunday because next Sunday is going to be another all-age service and, uh, so we can give the Sunday school leaders a, a break um, as well because they've worked really hard and thank you to those who like Robert and Jill and everyone else who did the, the Lego story today it was fantastic and as I said I do look forward to the Christmas story I'm just giving you plenty of notice it's not that long till Christmas but anyway, on that note, um, and as Jim said, if you're able to come through and join us for tea and coffee after the service, you'll be made most welcome. So we're going to bring our service to a close by singing and closing hymn, hymn number 419, Thine Be the Glory.
now go in peace and may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you, those whom you love, and those whom you struggle to love, now and forevermore.